Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. I make a lot of content about cowboy boots and music here on YouTube. And one of the most popular questions that I get is what are the best cowboy boots to get under $100? So today, I'm gonna to try to answer that question and tell you how you can make your Benny go further on a pair of cowboy boots. And I'm just warning you right now, this won't be what you expect. Why? Because cowboy boots have a reputation of being built tough. You can get them resold. They last really, really long because of that. And as you wear them over the months and years, they begin to form to your foot and become really, really comfortable. To make a pair of boots with tough qualities in Mexico or the United States, it often costs $100 or more for the company. And then they still have to mark up those boots so that they can make profit and continuing to offer boots to the public. Yes, there are cowboy boot companies whose regular prices are below $100, but these boots are not made tough and they do not use the high quality materials required for a true cowboy boot. In fact, the corners that they cut could turn you off of cowboy boots forever. I've done videos about specific brands who offer boots under $100 and they always disappoint. Some are even so poorly made that they could cause you injury, which could end up costing you more in the long run. I know times are tough and we're all on a budget, but the real alpha move when it comes to finding boots below $100 is finding them on the secondhand marketplaces like eBay, shopgoodwill.com, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, Poshmark, and more. Here are 10 cowboy boots that my wife and I got within the past year on secondhand marketplaces, and some were never worn at all. I got these US made black suede Abilene boots for $14 on shopgoodwill.com, and they'd only been worn a couple times. I got these red J. Chisholm boots, also made in the USA, brand new on Craigslist for $25. I found these little Johnny Ringo boots for around $20 on shopgoodwill.com and they're brand frickin' new still. Look at that outsole. I also got my wife these Justin Lizard boots from a local thrift store for around $20 too. That's right, you can even get exotic cowboy boots used or in the secondhand marketplace for under $100. Like these Tony Lama elephant boots that I'm wearing right now, they were purchased by one of my viewers out there and he got them for $75 off of eBay. And then I also got my wife a pair of elephant boots off of shopgoodwill.com. This is a custom pair of Siller boots made in Montana and I got these for around $10. It's crazy what you can find in these secondhand marketplaces. Now, I know what you might be thinking. It's gross to buy used cowboy boots. And it definitely can be if you don't know what you're looking for. You want to find boots that are as little used as possible. And there are ways that you can tell this. For example, on these Dan Post boots that I got my wife for like $10 on shopgoodwill.com, you can tell that the logo is still there and that the heel cap still has the brand name in it. So somebody took these out dancing most likely because there is wear in a circular motion, maybe once or twice, and then they sat in the back of their closet like what happens so frequently when people buy cowboy boots. And that is the kind of cowboy boot that you need to be looking for in these secondhand marketplaces. Sometimes you'll get really lucky and find some for brand new, like I did with these Jay Chisholm's over here or these Johnny Ringo's for my wife. But most times if you look at the outsole and it looks just a little bit worn and the heel cap still has the main logo in it, not every company is gonna have their logo in the heel cap, but if you're looking for like the biggest signs, that's a big one. And then if the rest of the boot looks like it's in fairly good shape, you probably have a good find there. If you wanna find an actual good, real, true pair of cowboy boots for under $100, then you're gonna to have to make up for the lower budget by spending more time searching online for that perfect boot that fits your price range. It really is a hunt, so you have to be patient and check these websites regularly for several weeks, if not months. But it is very, very possible to find really good boots for under $100 and have them be new or just slightly used. And the secret is to search on those second hand marketplaces. 
I have a bunch of videos to help you in your hunt for the best boots under $100 and I've put together a complete list in the description covering everything from how boots should fit, cleaning used boots, what to look for in quality in a pair of boots, and more. So don't waste your money on a brand new pair of boots that's under $100 from a Western store or online retailer. You will not be experiencing the true cowboy boot feeling and you will most likely be disappointed and turned off from cowboy boots forever. Start searching for those high quality brands that you will love in secondhand marketplaces, both in real life and online. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and I'll see you around. Peace. What's the best new boots for a Benny? I don't think that there are any. That's why you got to take a chance. Finding slightly used ones second hand, yeah. I got a playlist up here of several videos to help you in your second hand marketplace search for great boots and how they should fit while you're at it. Or I got a music video down here about the Erie Canal and how it made July 4th, the unofficial day to start building a canal. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.